Hi, I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this news every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, the UK's privacy watchdog has fined Clearview AI 7.55M 9.5M and ordered the company to delete all of its facial image data of UK residents. While Clearview no longer offers its services to UK organizations, it's still using the personal data of its citizens through its contracts in other countries, according to the UK's Information Commissioner's Office ECO. In the UK, the Metropolitan Police, Ministry of Defence, and National Crime Agency have all previously used Clearview's AI service. In response, Clearview confirmed it no longer does business in the UK and said it is not subject to the ECO's jurisdiction, suggesting it may refuse to pay the fine. News source, The Verge, as more fashion and apparel brands dive into the metaverse, Pantone has teamed up with Spatial Lab Slabs for the company's first wearable hardware product, LMQ. Through this new strategic partnership, Pantone is magnifying its focus on digital transformation and experimentation with digital and physical products and how they relate to color. LNQ is the first project by Slabs that aims to change the way products and fashion interact in both the digital and physical worlds. Apparel, wearable items and other items are in the mix of the LNQ ecosystem. With LNQ, users can create avatars, which are also known as auras to reflect their digital identities that can be customized with wearables purchased in the app or in real life. As part of the union, Pantone and Slabs will create collaborative limited edition clothing that will be released at a later date. News source, WWD, Sidwalk allows users to navigate virtual worlds while seated in an ergonomic chair. Developed by Mr. Art Digital Technology Company, the chair's design tracks user movements using a disc pedal. Not only does the chair simulate motion for gaming, but it can also be paired with a desk to work. Sitwalk is compatible with most VR headsets. The chair's 360-degree swivel may prevent motion sickness and fatigue by keeping the user seated. News source, VR Scout, Apple's R door detection feature uses LiDAR and machine learning technologies to scan for doors. Available on iPhones and iPads, Apple's newest development recognizes whether a door is open or closed. The R development also describes the door's attributes, including reading any text written on its surface. The update is especially exciting for users with motor, vision, or hearing impairments. Think about how this could be used in fashion retail for exclusive in-store experiences. The company has also introduced new live caption capabilities that render readable text across various platforms, including phone calls, FaceTime, or while streaming. Users can also type responses to be read aloud in real time. Apple released these new accessibility features to celebrate Global Accessibility Awareness Day. 2022. News source YouTube, the country of El Salvador, which adopted Bitcoin as legal tender late last year is in serious danger of defaulting on its debt to international financiers within the next several years due to the ongoing collapse of the cryptocurrency market, as reported by El Pais and Bloomberg. For his part, Bukele continues to double down on crypto, having bought 500 Bitcoin about 15.5 million at the time, now 14.1 million on May 9. As with other areas of the crypto crash, it's going to be regular people. The virtual wallet rolled out by the government has proven unreliable. News source, PC Gamer, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360 Fashion. Net podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode.